So here's the question we all need to think about. Are you consuming false doctrine? As women, we have a lot that we can become concerned about, such things as our looks, our health, what we put in our bodies. As mothers, we're even concerned with what our children consume, their health. We long to bring nourishment as it is part of our hospitality, you know, part of our nature. Yet, for most of us Christian women, we, week after week, sit under preaching and teaching of the typical American evangelical church. How do we know if we and our family are receiving spiritual nourishment? Is our pastor feeding the sheep healthy food or rubbish? And it's not just on Sunday, but what we consume spiritually when doing devotions, Christian books, social feeds, memes, podcasts, (laughs) videos, and even real life conversations. Now I'm not talking about worldly philosophy or worldly entertainment as we as Christians can identify the falsehood and spiritual rubbish these things teach, but I'm talking about certain social spheres that claim to be Christian and claim to help us grow in faith, maturity, and trust in God. This is where we must make right judgments once backed up by God's word. So what is false doctrine? Well, as we learned in the previous Titus 2 time episode, doctrine is a set of beliefs. Now these beliefs can be false or true. Doctrine comes either from God or man. Therefore, false doctrine in the church is any set of beliefs that originate from man and not God. Right doctrine and right teaching is truth. Man's doctrine and man's teaching comes from the fertility of their mind, which is darkened in their understanding, making them excluded from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them. What they do not know about God produces a a futile mind that lacks understanding. All of this is because of their hardened hearts as they reject God, Ephesians 4, 17-25. Even some acknowledge God, but harden against the God of Scripture, because they chase or create a God of their own imaginations, committing idolatry, Exodus 20, 4-5. They use their darkened understanding and futile minds to make a God that is like themselves. They take the Lord's name in vain, making His name worthless, 